Somewhere in that tree, there's a squirrel. <laughs> I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're gonna learn to owl. Oh. Wow, okay. Hello, winter sun. It's uh, getting late in the year and the sun is low in the sky. But that just means there's more golden hour and more great time for freestyle. Here's what we're doing today. This is my problem quad that I used to demonstrate the effectiveness, or maybe not effectiveness, you decide, of the Betaflight RPM filter. And this quad is set up exactly how it was at the end of that video. And I think it got better, but it sure wasn't flying what anybody would call like wonderful, amazing. It had problems. And one of the developers of Emu Flight in the comments of that video said, why don't you put Emu Flight on it and see what happens? Okay, I'm up for a challenge because the last time I made a video about Emu Flight, the quad was already flying great. It was flying great on Beta Flight. It flew great on Emu Flight. And I was kind of like, eh, I'll get on with my weekend. But not today. Today we got a bad flying quad. And we're gonna see if Emu Flight makes it better. But first, let's just do one flight on Beta Flight to remind us of what's going on. Just so you guys can remember, this is Beta Flight 4.1 with the RPM filter turned on and the, the regular filters are on multiplier 2x. That means that there's basically as little filtering as Betaflight will let you get away with uh, scrap from the factory anyway. Okay, just making sure it's not gonna flip out, make sure I got my props on right. <laughs> Let's have some fun. I gotta not crash is the only problem. I gotta not like, oh. Thanks, rapid fire. I've set my rapid fire to the fastest unlock time. And it saved me there, but I'm kind of annoyed that it happened at all. Fusion, there is an opening for you. Fusion, if you would not do that and be as good as rapid fire in every other way, a lot of room for you to... Alright, let's fly. Don't crash, don't crash, Josh. I gotta adjust my camera here. I gotta adjust the goggles here real quick. Goggles are a little too bright. There were people um, in my Betaflight 4.1 video who said I was a little too easy on the RPM filters. I wasn't like slinging it through the turns like I was with the others. Uh, I don't think that's true. I did sling it through the turns. I just also did some freestyle on it because it was my last pack. So the, one of the problems, I won't do this going into the sun, but one of the problems is just kind of a mid-throttle, there's this little bobbling in the horizon that is different than just, uh, you know, prop wash oscillation and the things we typically look for when we're thinking about filter performance. It's just kind of bobbly, not smooth. Backward. 
gonna I'm gonna lose my battery. My battery's gonna die and I'm gonna crash. Let's bring it in. Now I, I know from experience that that looked pretty half decent in the standard definition footage, but I also know that in the high def it's gonna look pretty cruddy, I think. Um, so let's fly it on EMU flight and then we'll check the high def and see which looks better. All right, EMU flight. We'll just do a quick diff all and save to file. Desktop, save that to file and it's pyro f4, go to bootloader. All righty. I have to run impulse RC driver fixer. Fair enough. I'm surprised. Oh, don't make me do this. Oh, thank God. <laughs> if I had to find the bootloader button, I don't even think the pyro has a bootloader button. I think it's, I think it's pin. I can't remember. I think you have to bridge pads. Great. Thank God. Amazing. Pyro F4, full chip erase, load, flash. Well, the good news, it does have a bootloader button, not pads. All right, let's just grab the bits of this that really matter. Uh, this stuff, no, that all relates. Let's see, min check and max check. We want RSSI channel eight. Interesting. Okay, we want crossfire. We'll D shot idle value. Sure, we'll keep that. Motor PWM protocol. We're going to tweak that. Fail safe delay, borderline, VBAT, current meter. Yes, all of that is relevant. OSD stuff, yes. We're going to leave out the profile stuff because that's your PIDs. My dog is going to come bark at me. And here are my rates. Okay. 8K, 8K. We're going to do T shot 600 and 8K, 8K. That's what I would normally run. Now in the PIDs, I, this is all at default and I don't know a ton about it, so I'm gonna leave it at defaults. And in the filter settings, I would normally mess with these and try and like disable some things, but since I don't know the innards of EMU flight stuff, we're just gonna fly it at defaults and see what happens. He just likes to run around and bark at things. <laughs> Hello, Chopper. Chopper's very serious. Yes, Chopper, thank you, you saved me. You saved me from him. Chopper takes everything very seriously. Now, I gotta tell you, I doubt I'm gonna notice a difference, really, much of a difference, just from flying. I am gonna notice a difference if rapid fire honks out on me. There are, I'm sure, some small differences in stick feel, but mostly I'm concerned to see how well it cleans up these baubles. Now let's face away from the sun, just look at the horizon. We'll have to compare this in the high def. The FPV is just not going to do it. And I'm just going to fly some and see. How we do? Is the prop wash handling better? I don't know. We'll compare. Mostly I'll let you compare. I mean, that's my goal is not to prove anything. My goal is to just gather data so you guys decision for yourself based on what you see. Sometimes it's my place as sort of like an expert to point things out that I think are important for you to know. But sometimes I just want to gather data. There's a little hitch. I was really working that though. I think I've gotten good at power loops with this quad or with my rates.
turn left or too much. Wow, I cannot see with the sun. That felt really clean right there. Oh, there we go. Turn right. Wow, I just cannot see anything. But this camera is terrible in that low sun. I gotta tell you, just flying it, this sounds smoother to me. It sounds smoother to me. It sounds smoother to me. This one does. Well, I almost hit the ground several times there. Do, 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 do. And through here, down this way. Nope. Let's try it again. I'm about 14.3, I'm about done. I like this one too. Watch this. Reach for it and... Oh! This quad was supposed to be used in a giveaway. I just thought I'd do one more test with it before I gave it away and now I've smashed it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> well, the good news is it doesn't seem hurt at all. This frame, I've been not talking about which frame this was because I didn't want to implicate the frame in the problems I'm having. Because when you talk about a frame having like weird mid throttle oscillations, you don't necessarily mean to blame the frame, but when those two things are associated, sometimes people jump to conclusions and then the manufacturer of the frame, well anyway, but it's a Hyperlow Vert Free V2, and it's been really durable. When I first got it, I thought, oh, these little fiddly bits will probably break. Mm, but um, it's been really durable, and I've been really impressed with it. Is it the frame's fault that we're having these oscillations? Hard to tell, hard to tell. Could be the flight controller, could be the ESC, could be the motors. I'm personally leaning on the motors. They've been bashed up pretty good. Yeah, but um, since the frame just took a heck of a hit and didn't even show a single bit of damage, even the camera is fine, which I was a head on hit, so I'm kind of surprised. I'll give it a shout out. And yeah, my GoPro session is unhurt. Ah, the sessions were so good. I miss them. I guarantee you a hero would have died in that hit. That's gonna do it for this video. Which was better? Did Emu Flight help fix it? Well, ah! <laughs> I jump because you actually will come running like that and just knock your feet right out from under you. So I thought I was about to get dumped. <laughs> Did Emu Flight clean up the quad? I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the high def while I edit and see, but I don't really care because really what matters is that you can decide. What do you think you saw? What do you think you saw? There's nothing, it's your own shadow. It's your, it's your own shadow, you, do, you dingus. It's your own shadow. <laughs> it's your, <laughs> That's your own shadow, you...
dingus. <laughs> a thousand years of evolution. <laughs> they had shadows back when you were, genetics were being. <laughs> Dumbest dog ever. <laughs> what really matters is I want you to just give you guys the data you need to make a decision. When I posted that video, one of the Emu Flight devs said, give it a try. Well, now I did. And well, I can see what the conclusion is when I do the edit. That's gonna do it though for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.